This empty room is the Archetype Origins Studio. For those of you who are new to the channel, Ben and I build custom gaming PCs and then we film the process and then upload videos on social media, including YouTube, Instagram, and basically everywhere else. We purchased the new home. We're gonna do YouTube videos here and then building and shipping PCs. So we're gonna be needing a few different spaces. We're gonna be doing a study and then we're also gonna do our studio setup. So I'll show you where the studio is. So when we're looking for a place, we really wanted a place where we could have a dedicated YouTube studio. So this place has a game room. Set up upstairs. It works really well for a YouTube studio. Welcome to Archetype YouTube Studio. This wall, we'll be painting it black. If you've seen our past setup video for our YouTube studio, we'll be using some of the same furniture from that video. Some of the furniture will be going here. We're getting a huge workbench to put here. In our previous videos, our workbench was the IKEA Broar workbench, which is quite small. So once you have the PC on there, there isn't enough room to do much else. So all the tools would be basically all over the place. Flexi Spot reached out to us and asked us if we want to check out one of their desks. So we'll be putting a Flexi Spot workbench here. Cafe? We got a cameo from Cafe. Hey Cafe. So most of the time our videos should be shot from this way. We'll be doing light poles. Camera gear and lights will be mounted. Mostly to shoot this way, but we want the space to be versatile too. So this other side here, if we swing around, we're gonna be putting a monitor here. Previously we would just like carry a monitor around and plug it in and flash windows and set up PCs that way, but now we'll have a dedicated space where it's mounted, it's got its own space, so that will be nice. That we'll be able to test bench and then also like set up PCs. This overall setup here will probably be more storage based and then we'll also be putting up some wood slat panels from Wood Veneer Hub, so that'll be going on this side. Well, the windows behind me, it's really hard to control the sunlight. I can't tell the sun what to do, so we'll be putting in some um, blackout curtains to make sure that our lighting is consistent in all of our videos. Next, Archetype will have its own storage. So we'll have a lot of space to store things. This is actually a bedroom, but we'll designate it for our warehouse storage. Stay tuned and you'll get to see all of that. Action! We went to our local paint shop to look for black paints, but we knew we wanted something a little interesting. So we went with this muted textured plaster paint. So we get that nice texture. And because it's not actual paint, we got tools for plastering instead. Gotta always make sure you prepare your workspace before actually starting any work. We asked the guy at our local paint shop for this Marmorino Palladino in the darkest color he could give us and it came out so chunky that we were worried for a second. And after about like five minutes of watching YouTube videos, we felt brave enough to start working. So it looks like we ran out of paint. Uh, we're gonna go get more so we can finish the whole wall. I think we're like 50% done. Yeah. Thank you. 
Somehow the two paint colors ended up being totally different even though we went to the same store and talked to the same guy. I thought maybe it'd be better once it dried but it ended up just being the second batch was darker and the first batch was actually blue, right? It's blue. So we tried to blend it down but honestly it didn't look that good. finished painting the wall and I'll see you guys tomorrow. After letting it dry overnight, somehow the color ended up being even lighter color of blue, but we still really like the texture, so the only solution is to paint it black. If you made it this far in the video, go ahead and give us a like and subscribe for my beautiful artwork. Yeah! In order to make sure the texture wasn't affected by our black paint, we did go ahead and water down the wall paint just to make sure it wasn't too thick and we could still see the texture through the black paint. Woo! <laughs> the wall is done. Let's rip off the paint. This last piece is my favorite section. It ended up being so crispy and clean. Wow. to send us the desk which we'll be using as our worktop. So they sent us the E6B with black leg sit stand and then a bamboo top which is 78 inches long. Seventy-eight inches. Let's put it together! In comparison to other sit stand desks that we've built in the past, we found the flexi spot one to be very easy to assemble. For the legs, you have both options of standing or you can switch them out for little wheels so you can roll around your office. Feels good.
In addition to the sit stand desk, FlexiSpot also sent us three of these cable management trays, which is super great because we get to toss the cables in there and it keeps everything looking clean, but it's also easy to access. In our previous setup, while filming, we would probably have four to five tripods set up at one time, which meant that we'd run into the tripods a lot. So in order to get some floor space back, we decided to go with these Manfrotto light poles, which are essentially just giant shower tension rods, but for camera gear. That way we have less tripods on the ground and we don't trip over them as much and we get a lot of our floor space back. A studio setup video without an IKEA run, so we did go to IKEA and buy four board drawers, four board drawers, four board drawers to set up in our studio so that we have a little bit more storage. So we just finished building two pro drawers and there's another two more to go but as you can see it's a little messy right now. I'm just gonna clean up a little bit and we can move on. Where did you go? Help. I don't see you. Help! You <laughs> beat you. Oh, you're coming. <laughs> like this? It was this high, so I have to take it like this. And then once you have it like this, you can't like this. Yeah, you can. You just go. Yeah. I was like. 
<laughs> Why did you put it on your head? <laughs> now that we've got all our board shelves in place, we're gonna be putting all the drawers in here and we're gonna getting a lot of storage. 16 drawers. Oh. Let's go. Oh. Gonna call it a job well done without adding some lights. So we'll be tossing this light strip onto the back of the drawer just to kind of like shine on the wall, give it a little bit more ambient lighting. Building the bro bostad 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 I'll put it right here bostad bostad but that thing for the drawer track they actually gave us four L's we don't have any right ones so we're gonna go back to IKEA they're working on it to replace those in the meantime Wood Veneer Hub has kindly sent us black wood slat panels to put into our studio so the plan is we're gonna put up the panels kind of here where the wiring is and then that way we can actually mount a screen for us to be able to test bench PCs or boot BIOS or just kind of troubleshoot PCs and we're not running cables everywhere. So it's already partially hardwired in. We're gonna put up the wood slat panels and then mount a monitor on top. What do you guys think? Do curved monitors belong on walls? Cause I don't think so, but we'll try it maybe. We'll start with the panels. So because we're mounting a monitor, we wanna make sure that we have cut out enough space for our monitor arm. So let's mount that first so that we know where to cut our wood slats. So earlier when Ben was building that furniture, it was missing some drawer pullouts. So it had four lefts instead of two rights and two lefts. We went to Ikea and they were able to get us the correct ones. So we're going to go back to building that bro, bro stad, bora bora stad, dad. And then we'll do our wood slat panels. I don't think it says the weight limit on this one. Sir? I'm checking to see if there's a weight limit. It doesn't say, it just says, don't set TVs on top.
I took the battery out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even need screw. We will do our absolute best to link every product that we use in our studio in the description box. So if you see something you like, you can scroll down to see it and grab it for yourself. But this desk mat is actually our Archetype Origin Circuit desk mat. If you wanna support the channel and you don't need a whole new PC or you already got one from us and you still wanna continue supporting us, click on the link below to get your own Archetype Origin Circuit mouse pad. It does come in both black and white. To finish off the space, we just went around and decorated it with some knickknacks here and there. We found this right lane sign on the ground outside, so shh, we might have taken it. Can't forget the OG Archetype Origin sign, the first thing we ever put our logo on. This face looked a little bit empty after we put up the sign, so we decided to get this IKEA shoe rack and just use it for storage. If you made it this far in our video, I really wanna thank you for your support. It means so, so much to both me and Ben. Let's check out the final results.
recycle you. You can recycle me. Reuse, reduce, recycle.